Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today let's solve the median contest question, largest the matrix with rearrangements. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. The question statement, so we are given a binary matrix and we are allowed to re rearrange the columns of this matrix uh, in any order we want. And we have to return the area of the largest uh, sub matrix. It can be a square or a rectangle that every element in this sub matrix is, is one after reordering the columns optimally. So for example one, we can reorder uh, column three to column two then we are able to get the largest sub matrix of one, which has the area of four. And example two, we can re rearrange uh, column three and column five so that the first three columns can form the largest sub matrix of one, which has an area of three. And in example three, the largest uh, sub matrix we can get has area of two. And in example four, since there's no one in the input uh, matrix, so the largest uh, sub matrix we can get has area of zero. The data constraint for this question, the number of rows and columns of the input matrix can go up to 10 to the power of five. And this is a pretty tricky question, uh, in my opinion. The main intuition to solve this question, first is to generate a prefix sum a matrix by uh, the column direction. And you can think these prefix sums are the histograms from the matrix. So now the question will become uh, on each row, we will try to rearrange the columns and to find the largest rectangle in histogram. And this is uh, similar to the question 84 on the code, largest rectangle in histogram. Now let's look at the code. Okay, the first part of the code is to generate the prefix sum matrix, which is the histogram. And here we can just uh, modify the input matrix directly. And notice that if the matrix RC, the current cell is zero, then it means that there's no way to form a rectangle or square at this position. So we will just uh, reset it to zero. And next, on every row, we will rearrange the columns and find the largest rectangle in histogram. And rearranging is to a reverse sort uh, each row by descending order. And the area of the current sub matrix, its width is the current column index C plus one. And its height is the height of the bar, the current bar of the histogram. And we will update rest accordingly. Now let's see the code in action. Here we'll be looking at example one. And the first step is to generate the column direction prefix sum based on the code here. And the prefix sum matrix will be 001, 112, and 203. And notice that we have a zero here because this cell in the original matrix is zero. So there's no way to form rectangle or square here. So this cell, it will be reset to zero. And you can think of this as uh, histograms on each row. And the values in the matrix are the height of each bar in the histogram. And next, we will iterate through the rows. And starting from the first row, we will reverse sort the row in descending order. So now the first row will become a one, zero, zero. And the maximum sub matrix area we can get is one. So we will update rest to one here. And then the second row, again, reverse sort the row. So now the row will become two, one, one. And the maximum area of the sub matrix or the rectangle we can get is a uh, two, which is either the area of the first bar or the area formed by the first 
a second bar here. And in the third row, you can kind of see that why we need to reverse sort uh, each row is because we have to connect the bars in the histogram in order to form the biggest rectangle. And in the third row, the largest rectangle is width is two and its height is two. So the largest area is four. And this is also the final output of this example. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the key idea to solve this question first is to generate a prefix sum matrix. And the prefix sum is on the column direction. And you can think of this as histogram of this matrix. And then on each row, we will try to rearrange the columns to find the largest rectangle in histogram, which is uh, similar to question 84. And the time complexity of this approach, m times n log n. On each row, we have to do sorting, and there are a number of columns of elements, and we have to go through uh, every row. And the space complexity is constant, no extra space is needed of this approach. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.